welcome to Caravan Escapades. I hope everybody's keeping safe and well. Um, so we're off to the NEC. It's the 23rd of February. Um, we're going for the day. Not sure really what we're going to vlog about, to be honest with you. Got no plans. Um, certainly don't think we'll be doing any sort of caravan or motorhome reviews, that sort of thing. There are plenty of other vloggers out there that do a great job of that. So really, I think we're just going to kind of vlog about our visit, our experience, what we make in the show, what we see there, and that sort of stuff. So we'll come back to you once we arrive at the NEC. So we finally arrived, we're here at the NEC, um, first caravan show in two years, we're excited, we're looking forward to having a look around, see what's going on. We've got no real plans for the vlog, as I said earlier, but we'll just see what takes us by. Um, busy, busy already, um, I had to do a conference call on the way here, so we're not kind of here at opening time, I think, what's time Claire, about 11 o'clock? So 10 past 11, already very busy, all the car parks full. Um, and we're just about to go inside the NEC. So we're in, that's me and Claire, there she is. We're in, we're in the NEC show. First time in two years. Let's go and have a wander and see what we can find. Actually, I think the best thing to do is probably find out where the end is. We'll start at one end and then work our way across. So we've decided to walk down towards kind of Hall 5, that's one end, and we'll work our way back round. Um, I think this end of the show really is all about the different holiday resorts, different places to go and visit and that sort of stuff, and various different charities. So here's Hall 5, as you can see right down the bottom, um, mainly looks like kind of camper vans and tents and that sort of stuff. but. We'll take a wander down there and see what we can find. So just to encroach slightly on their speakers, you probably know the Roman Radfords. If you don't follow them, follow them down there. But they're just doing a talk at the moment. About all their adventures in their motorhome. Quick show of the Kadak stand. It's one of those things you either love them or you hate them. We certainly enjoy our Kadak, but they seem to be selling everything here and plenty on offer in your Kadaks. So we got various different bits of clothing, trespass, crag hopper, crag hopper, that sort of stuff are down in this section. This is basically the back end of all five. A lot of it around here seems to be like your camper vans, tents, that sort of stuff. Again, you either love them or you hate them. It's those flagpoles and flags. Um, again, there's a store here. So various different flags, spinners, flagpoles, all those sorts of stuff. Um, you know us, we do have a flagpole when we go out and actually I do need to get a new flagpole. Um, but rather than carrying it around all day, I might grab it from, um, from Amazon. But who knows, I might buy one. So we've got a few drive-away awnings down in this area. Again, a lot of tents. This is Hall 5 we're still in, so a lot of tents, camper vans, that sort of stuff. Various different uh, resellers around the outside, but mainly, I think most of the stuff we've seen around the outside here, Claire, is really clothing and that sort of stuff. So clothing, shoes, all that sort of stuff. One thing, it's really great to be um, back at the NEC or back at a caravan camping show um, after two years. We certainly miss them. Yes, it is busy, but there's definitely a buzz going on here. Uh, lots of people about. It's great to know that there are lots of people into the hobby that we all kind of love and enjoy. Cool. So yeah, we're loving being here. We've only really been in, what Claire, 10, 15 minutes, something like that, maybe a little bit longer. Um, but it is great to be back at one of the shows. It's, it's, I guess the shows are those things, you either love them or you hate them. Certainly, we enjoy them. We just have to try and keep our hands in our pockets um, and not try and buy too many stuff. Sorry, not buy too many bits, particularly a new caravan. We're not doing that today. Anyway, well, at least I don't think so. As you know, we guys, we swear by the collapsed stuff. Never been sponsored by them, but certainly uh, use their stuff in every bit that we can uh, within the caravan. So they're here at the show today. So come along, see what they've got on offer. We buy everything we need, invariably. 
the Sally we swear by certainly the things like the um, the things to fill up from the tap, the waste, uh, we've got various buckets uh, and all that sort of stuff. So there's the new uh, water roll, so I'm going to go across, take a look at those. Certainly be interested in these. So yeah, collapse are here, they're in Hall 5, so come along and see what they can offer. We're just here on the collapse stands and we're looking at their alternatives to the waste master and the Acarole and guess what I've seen? It's the dreaded waste pipe of wisdom. Um, no, so basically what we've got here is Collapse's alternative to the waste master um, and to the apple roll. Um, both 20 litres, but the great things with these is they can be daisy chained. Um, collapse down like all the other bits of Collapse equipment. Um, so you've got the waste master here alternative and then you've got the apple roll alternative there as well and as i say these can be daisy chained along um pretty solid product by the look of it nice solid carrier um i was actually getting confused i thought the gray one was just kind of a, an aqua roll but what you've got is you've got a non-return valve down here so the waste master will fill up you've also got kind of a filter system um, that filter system there catches all the kind of waste from your sinks so all those little bits of food and grit and all that sort of stuff kind of to save it going there as well so um, yeah, looks quite a good piece of kit. Um, we're going to ask how much it is um, and possibly look at it as an alternative. I think we like the idea of both having the uh, the waste master as an alternative and the aqua roll. Um, I suppose for us, we generally use the 40 litre um, aqua roll, but if we basically just daisy chain two of those together, we've got that anyway. And obviously, the times we go on the service pitch, we're not going to have an issue there either. So. That's the Collapse um, Waste Master and Acroll system. It's not available yet, but it will be um, available roughly what, summertime. Summer this year. Summer this year. So uh, keep an eye out for that. It certainly will be available this year. We um, certainly very, very interested. As you know, we use quite a bit of Collapse stuff anyway. So yeah, keep an eye out. I'll put a link down below, um, certainly to their website. Uh, keep an eye out, and uh, we'll get someone to let you know how to get on with it. So in a corner of Hall 5 we kind of got an e-bike section, uh, there's also the paddleboard and kayaking pool. Uh, we bought an inflatable kayak, I don't think we've had it out of the box yet. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how we get on with that. Um, so yeah, we're going to kind of have a look round. Um, there's some similar camping gear that we've kind of already purchased, certainly similar chairs, that sort of stuff. Um, Bio camp, we've obviously purchased it, or Bow Camp, we've purchased it from a, a different company, but yeah, we'll check that out. The armor bike racks, um, down this section as well, the rear hanging bike racks, the ladders, all that sort of stuff. So we're just on the Brunner stand, they do all sorts of um, camping equipment, pans, pots, cups, plates, all those sorts of stuff. Uh, we bought a table from them a um, couple of years ago. Uh, been great, we pretty much use it every kind of trip out. Quite a large camping table. In fact, it's this one here, um, the six. So we got that camping table. But unfortunately, last time out, one of the um, elastic bits has snapped. So we've been speaking to Simon, he's the UK agent, um, customer service, second to none. He's gonna get some spare bits sorted out for us and put them out in the post. So yeah, a little bit more expensive probably than some of the standard camping stuff, but good quality product, seems to last quite well, quite robust. In fact, there's Claire, she's found the plates, put the sources apparently. We're gonna be in line for a new set of uh, pots and, well, pots, plates, cups, that sort of stuff for the caravan. Yeah, they're nice. I'm gonna try and resist the urge to go inside. No, Claire's gone. That means I've gotta go. I was gonna resist the urge to go inside the accessory stall, um, but I shall try and not come out with anything. I've gotta follow Claire in. If she's got in, I've gotta go in after her. She's looking at wine glasses. I did it, I came out with buying anything. Um, I'm sure it won't be the last time though. It's only but yeah, I didn't yeah, like it. Because Claire didn't like it, she wanted to be in and out of there pretty quick. So, But I came out without buying anything. 
So we're just outside the Malenko stand. As you know, we use quite a bit of Malenko equipment from mirrors to stacker jackets, um, various lock systems, all that sort of stuff. So we've been using it all for quite a while. We've got the, uh, the Wraith locks, the um, Aero mirrors. Uh, gosh. Well, we weren't going to bring out a new mirror. Who remembers? I've, I've got pretty much most of the gear. So yeah, if you're here, if you're here, all five Malenko down in the bottom here. So we've got the Aero set a bit. You've got all the compact caravans, the GoPods, all that sort of stuff again down in Hall 5. Just moving from Hall 5 to Hall 4, um, you've got your various different stands about campsite fronts and that sort of stuff. So if you're interested in an overseas holiday, certainly around the France region. We've done it before, it's a great time, we're going again this year. Uh, we'll have a chat and find out what campsites and things are available. Head down this way quickly, Claire, just to see if there's anything down here. But it does look like Hall 4 is mainly about, oh God, what would you call them? Um, more to me like kind of your fancy static caravans. So it's kind of mobile. Hiya. Yeah? Hello. How are we doing? Sorry about that. Just stop for a chat, as we said on the uh, the vlog the other day. Um, if you see us, why don't you stop by and have a chat? So uh, so we had a quick chat there. Um, but yeah, it looks like Hall Four really is just um, probably for these kind of static caravans. Although we've got the Van Gogh tents down here um, in the corner, but mainly kind of the big staticky kind of permanent holiday homes oh and looks like a kid's zone as well there's a helter skelter um who had girls having it was a bar straight on the gym we're getting our bit of drive that's what it's like in nottingham isn't it at christmas oh yeah christmas is a, there's a bar underneath the helter skelter so yeah there's kind of a kid's zone sand pit that sort of stuff down the bottom here so we're just moving into hall 3a uh, again we're getting more now into the kind of caravans, remote homes, that sort of stuff. So what we'll do is we'll probably wander around the edge and just work our way backwards and forwards, um, up and down. I hope you found it interesting so far. Again, we're just trying to kind of vlog various different bits. I'm not going to do any yeah, particular... We're not, not going to do any particular reviews. Um, there are plenty of other vloggers out there that are going to do some great reviews on the different motorhomes and caravans and that sort of stuff. So we just vlog about the show. Um, like I said earlier on, it's great to be back at the show. Uh, we certainly enjoy it and I'm really surprised I haven't spent any money yet. I don't know why and you kind of tend to find it at probably all shows, not just kind of the caravan and motorhome shows. You get lots of different kind of stalls here selling kind of non-related camping items um, you know there's somebody selling fancy lamps down there there's there's another one for foot therapy uh, there's one up here for aromatherapy um, fancy kind of slicing and chopping systems and that sort of stuff um, I guess they're all trying to make a living but sometimes I just kind of don't get really why they're here at um, this type of show when I suppose we're here to look at caravan and motorhome related stuff but there's other stuff that just has no connection it doesn't cause a big problem it's just kind of a question I ask I mean prime example of kind of what I've just been saying I mean there's a stand here um, for basically Chesterfield sofas leather sofas look they're great they're really nice and that sort of stuff but what's that got to do with camping and caravanning no idea so we're just moving through into Hall 3, um, again more of a mix in sort of 3 and 3A from what we've seen so far of kind of motor homes, motor caravans, that sort of stuff. There has been the odd kind of caravan, um, yeah, there's a kind of Bailey on the left hand side here, uh, Bailey Porto, we'll have a wander around but we won't vlog it. So if you see this vlog before you come to the show, I don't know what your plans are regarding the kind of food and eating and that sort of stuff. Um, the food outlets seem to be rammed. I don't know what the quality of the food is, but Claire and I um, stopped and got some sandwiches and stuff before we left. But as you can see, it's a bit crazy with people sat on the floor. Claire sat there eating a sandwich. Lots of other people sat around on the floor. So it's great to be back at the shows, but it is very, very busy.
and this is only Wednesday, so Saturday and Sunday is probably going to be even worse. So I'm a bit confused now which hall we're kind of moving into, but uh, I think it's probably two, um, or no, I think we might still be in kind of three, that sort of stuff, because two's over there, but I can just spot the specialised cover stand over here, so we're going to go and have a look over there. So we're just outside the specialised covers stand. Um, as you know, we've got the um, specialised cover Toe Pro Elite. Uh, we absolutely swear by it. Uh, it's a fantastic cover. It is their most expensive cover um, and is um, custom to our caravan. But these guys will make them to sort of any caravan anyway. Um, I don't, I'm not sure which cover this is, but I know it's not the Elite. As you know, ours has got the um, zip that runs in the middle and you can access the, um, access the front lock. You can also drop it down. Um, to look at the uh, windows. Sorry, there's a company really looking at me there, so I've got a little bit confused. But yeah, no, specialised covers. We've already got one of their covers. Uh, we absolutely swear by it. I have done a vlog um, on how to put it on, put it off. Um, towing cover, it's one of those things people say, do you need them, don't you need them? To be honest, um, with the cost of a cover compared to repla a new replacement windscreen, um, certainly we'll use ours every time, even on just short journeys. And it's very quick, very easy to put on. Um, I mean, you literally, well, you've seen our vlog, I'll put a link below to our vlog on fitting the covers. So that sort of stuff. So that's specialised covers. If you're here, give them a shout. So just a view for you around the kind of coachman stand, just to give you an idea, I don't know whether it's lunchtime, but it certainly seems a bit quieter um, around this area. So one of the bigger, fancier motorhomes, I haven't got a clue how much this thing would be, but I bet it's getting close onto the 100k, if not more. Um, probably very luxurious inside, we're not going to take a look, but as you can see there's a bit of a queue for people to go in and have a look. Presentation going on on the camping, caravanning, and Motorhome Show amazing. 2020 theatre. Um, what is it doing in Wales? There's not quite sure what it's about, but obviously that's why. Like many of you here, it's on holiday. So here we are. Here's the camping and caravanning and motorhome club stand. Um, obviously, I don't need to tell you guys about the club. Um, obviously, one of the two main clubs. The other one being the camping and caravanning club, or the caravan and camping club. Um, but yeah, this is their main stand. Again, you can find everything out about the club here. Chat to people, join, membership. Um, obviously, not really an Experience Freedom pod, but obviously one of the new things they're doing at different sites is the Experience Freedom pod. Uh, can be rented out and used by non-caravan and camping, or sorry, non-caravan and motorhome club members. So that's their stand, and we'll take a wander. So we're just on the Truma and um, Power Touch um, stand. Obviously, Truma and Power Touch part of the same group of companies. Um, obviously, the various different things from the air conditioning, obviously the heater systems, and solar panels, all that sort of stuff, and obviously the Power Touch motor movers. Um, we're here. I'm kind of going to have a chat with them about the uh, iTouch um, and whether, sorry, not iTouch, the iNet system and whether that's worth uh, getting installed just to kind of, I suppose, bring the control of all our different things into one place. So, okay, we've just been on the Truma stand, um, specifically went to have a look at the iNet system and the integration of the iNet system on the caravan. Uh, and actually, there's a new system out there now. It's called the Truma iNet X system. And it replaces the traditional Truma control panel. Um, and kind of, it's like the Truma control panel and the iNet system all in one. It's got Bluetooth connectivity. Um, this is the panel, actually, let me show you. It's probably a bit easier if I show you. So this is kind of the panel here. Um, I haven't really kind of quite sure how it all works, but you know I said I hadn't spent any money? I just have. So basically, I've just booked um, to have this fitted. I'm gonna have it fitted direct with Truma. So I'm gonna take the caravan over there. They're gonna fit it. They basically said it's fine for me to film. Uh, and go through fitting of this system. So that's something to look forward to. It's probably not gonna be for a couple of months, just with other things that are going on, but we're gonna have the new Truma INA X system fitted to the van. 
and we'll have it fitted by Truma. So once we do that, we'll be able to kind of let you know. We'll bring you a vlog and we'll show you all about that. So we're just about to head down into Hall 1. Um, mainly caravans, that sort of thing in here. So you can see quite a few vans. So we'll head down. Don't want to impose, but obviously he's big into motorhoming and I don't know if you can see him, but there's Warwick Davis. Um, Warwick Davis and his wife. They're obviously looking at motorhomes, that sort of stuff as well. So I'm not going to go up and hassle them. But yeah, celebrity, first celebrity at the Caravan and Motorhome show. So here we are at the Paint Seal Direct stand. Um, as you know, and you've seen the previous vlog, we do have Paint Seal Direct on our caravan, both on the exterior paintwork and on the cushions as well. And we've been very, very happy so far. Um, so what we've done is we just kind of, we use the exterior concentrate every time we wash. Uh, we've obviously got the paint surface uh, cleaner, but what we've just picked up is the dry clean. So it's like a waterless wash. Um, I guess it's kind of ideal once you get out onto site and that sort of stuff just to spray around, just wipe off and get those bit of dirt off the paint surface cleaner. Um, that's a bit more in line for the tougher marks and that sort of stuff. But again, if I refer back, I'll put a link below to the previous vlog on the Paint Seal Direct um, and how we find it and, and actually how pleased we are with it. Um, but what I'll do, I'll do a blog on this new um, dry clean um, and see how we got on with that. So these are the guys at Paint Seal Direct. Thank you very much to them and we'll see you very soon. So we're just on the fuel stand. Uh, we actually need a replacement part. Um, I've cracked one of these bits. I'm not even sure what it's called uh, on the back of our bike rack. So I'm going to have a chat with the guys here, see if it's available as a replacement part. So some great customer services there. Uh, obviously the fuel stand, but it is actually Hillview awnings. Uh, we got a broken bit to the bike rack. Um, spoke to Brent Holder there, the director. He's basically just said, take me a photo, email me over what it is you need. And he said, I'll point you direct to the link uh, for the spare part. So great customer services. Took all of a couple of minutes to sort out. So we'll just take a wander down now around the kind of awning section. Here you've got the kind of Isabella, um, and then obviously you've got what was Camper, and now Dometic Outdoor. And then you've got um, Outdoor Revolution over there. So you're pretty much down this bottom end of Hall 1. You've got all of the awning type, um, yeah, basically awnings, that sort of stuff. So we're right in the middle of the Dometic stand. Yeah, there's some nice products here. Um, now one of those products has a strange reputation. A lot of people kind of complain about them and them leaking and that sort of stuff. Um, we really have had no problems at all. And what's interesting, actually just looking around, majority of the products here, and I could be wrong, are of the all season fabric. Now there's some um, pro fabrics and stuff over there anyway. So. You know, we're a fan of the all-season fabric. We've got the 390, as you've seen on previous vlogs, uh, or the Grande 390 with the left and the right hand annexes. Uh, we've also got the air brakes um, and the sunshine canopy, that sort of stuff. So if you get the chance, wander down, have a look. It's a product we're very happy with. But again, I do know that it gets mixed reviews from various different people. So we're just down in the corner of um, Hall 1. Um, and honestly, in our opinion, one of the best dealers you could ever come across, MG Caravans. Uh, we'll go over and say hi to the guys. Um, we've obviously bought our Swift Accord from them. Been very, very happy with it. Uh, very happy with the service and that sort of stuff with these guys. So again, only in our humble opinion, um, very, very good family run caravan dealer. So we just finished really kind of wandering around um, hall one i think what we're going to do now is just take a wander back through the show um, start kind of making our way out if we see anything interesting that we think we'll kind of vlog and let you guys know about on the way back we'll do that but we're going to start heading back through all the halls back from one to five um, if we come across anything we'll give you a shout 
So just one observation, really, as we're kind of walking around, um, as you know, we're kind of heading back now. We've done most of the show, um, so we're literally just kind of tracing our steps and walking back. But it does seem to me like there are certainly far more motorhomes, um, camper vans here on show than caravans. Let me know what you think. Um, I don't know just seem there's a lot less i mean we specifically haven't been going in and out of caravans and motorhomes that sort of thing today but certainly to me there does seem like there's a lot less caravans here on show and i know swift aren't here um, as a brand but there are certainly swift caravans about on the various different dealers bailey have got a big stand that sort of stuff as well but again they've got kind of a mix of product so i don't know let me know what you think um, i certainly think they're is not the same percentage of caravans um, here at the show as you would have normally seen in previous years before COVID. Um, and that could well be because the manufacturers just haven't made enough, haven't got the stock and that sort of stuff anyway. So there isn't the caravans to sell. If you are at the show buying various different bits, it's pointed at me, look. Um, if you are at the show buying various different bits, I've just come across the shop and drop. Uh, I know in previous years we've struggled carrying, buying all these various different bits and bobs. So they're in Hall 5. I guess the idea um, is basically you buy your stuff, you get a ticket, um, and you come back and pick it up later. Uh, let's find out if there's any cost to it. Is there any cost to the shop and drop? Sorry? Is there any cost to the shop and drop? So that's free of charge, guys. So the shop and drop, if you are here at the show, you're wandering around, you're buying the different bits and bobs. Don't be like us as in previous years, just having to buy a trolley and handfuls of stuff. Come and see the guys in Hall 5 uh, at the shop and drop, no charge. Drop your bits off, you get a lottery ticket. Who knows, you may even win. Might even get the Thank you. That's a big sign on Oh, there, look, actually, I didn't see that. A, you can, can see the back of it, but there's a big sign that says Shop and Drop in the corner of Hall 5. So, great idea. Well done. Thank you. So, we've just been wandering around. We've just come across the guys from um, Smart Beam. Smart Beam, yeah. Basically, it's a satellite TV receiver, fully automated. The great thing about this product is, is that not only do you connect it to your TV, you connect it to your phone, um, your tablet or your laptop, no internet connection required and it just basically beams the TV signal straight in um, and basically itself looks for the signal, gets the best signal. Yeah, you got it, absolutely. What sort of um, what sort of price do these units run at? Right, so, well, we've got a special show price okay. of, of a thousand pound. Thousand pound, yeah. Yeah, and, and with that you've, you've got everything that you need. Perfect. If you're interested in a system like this, I suppose the great thing for me is one of the things we do a lot of as well when we're out and about is we obviously stream TV programs, that sort of stuff. So we need that kind of Wi-Fi internet connection, but none of that's required with this. It just literally picks up the satellite signal, the TV signal, that sort of stuff. Yeah, anywhere you are, you'll get a TV signal. Is it a system that's easy to install yourself or do you need any specialist installation? It doesn't, doesn't really need any installation because this is portable. It's a portable system. So yeah, it comes with, it's got feet on it, so you can put it anywhere you like. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you very much for that. If you're interested in a system like this, why don't you come down to Hall 5, uh, right. literally actually right next to the shop and drop we've just been talking about. So come down, have a chat with these guys, and they'll give you a demo and show you more. But I suppose one of the great things for me is you actually don't need your TV. It will literally just beam it straight to your phone or your tablet. Thanks, guys. We'll see you soon.
So that's the end of our visit to the Caravan and Motorhome Show, no, November, February 2022. Uh, we've had a good time. We've certainly enjoyed it. Um, there's plenty to see and do. Um, I don't know, there's something slightly different about previous years. I don't know, quite know what it is. Maybe there's not quite as much there. Maybe there is. It's still a big show, still very, very busy. Um, certainly hope you find what we vlog for you today useful. I'll try and get that out tonight, edit it up tonight, but it's sort of the latest. It'll probably be out on the 24th, 25th, so hopefully before the show finishes and before you guys that are going to go and visit at the weekend. So again, hope you found that useful. Please feel free to comment below. Let us know what you think. Let us know how you got on, what you think to the show, that sort of stuff. So that's another one from Caravan Escapades. It's goodbye from me and goodbye, goodbye from Claire. <laughs> um, have a great one. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. You enjoy yourself, guys. And if you're going to the show, have a great time, have a safe time, and we'll see you on the next one.